How fast would F1 2020 cars have to go to lift through Eau Rouge? So Eau Rouge then in modern Formula 1 is very easily flat. It's more of an acceleration zone up onto the Kelmore Street, isn't it? No problem whatsoever for the drivers. Just completely flat, certainly qualifying conditions. No problem whatsoever. So I thought, how fast would a modern car have to go in order that they'd have to lift through Eau Rouge? So we're going to jump on the F1 2020 game then. And we're going to do some tests to find out. So this is the first attempt then. This is one times pass. This is the completely normal game. And of course, this is very, very easy flat. We're in the Mercedes as well. So the car with the most downforce. But this is very, very easy flat. No problem whatsoever. Easy flat. You know, even added some extra turning power there if I needed it. No problem whatsoever. We hit a speed of 3.07. A minimum corner speed of 3.07 kilometers an hour through Eau Rouge there. And a VMAX to the end of straight there of 330 kilometers an hour. Now we've added 50% extra power to the internal combustion engine only. That's just for ease of the mod, really. Um, so we haven't increased the power of the ERS at all. But combustion engine has got 50% extra power, which is not far off 50% extra overall engine power. And let's go then. Coming up to Eau Rouge, will this also be easily flat? Yes, it will. Once again, taking some curb there. No problem whatsoever. Still very comfortably flat. That was the minimum, cor minimum corner speed of 344 kilometers an hour. And we are now getting up to a VMAX down the straight of 370 kilometers an hour. This is the next four attempts then on the exact same setting. I want to just make sure that that first attempt wasn't a complete fluke. Um, so I just did it four more times. Five times in a row we managed it. No problem whatsoever. Very comfortably flat. So now then we're getting on to two times combustion engine power. Quite a lot more power now. Really quite a lot faster in the straight. We've also had to extend the gear ratios for this one. Because uh, they were just maxing out really quite early. So building up speed really quickly. And you see up to 380 kilometers an hour on the entry. And can we make it through? No we can't. We actually can't make it through that time. I did try it flat. And you saw the back end just completely stepped out on us there. Could not make it through that time. Let's give it a go. Attempt number two. And just try to keep it clean as well. Trying to keep it within the bounds of the racetrack. Big oversteer moment. Not within the bounds of the racetrack though. That was flat. But not within the bounds of the racetrack. Big oversteer moment up through Eau Rouge. But let's have a look then at our VMAX speed down the straight while we're here. That's 295 kilometers. And that's sorry, 395 kilometers now I should say. Uh, down that straight. Bit of a dirty one on the entry there. But we run wide anyway. That was me just being a bit cautious there. I was a bit scared of getting the oversteer that time. But didn't quite manage it. And once again, coming in, 380 kilometers an hour in the entrance. Oh, very nearly, but just lost it halfway up by Rouge there. And uh, we were we were very nearly um, through, but a bit of oversteer just caused us to have a big spin. Let's give it another go. Attempt number five. Getting closer, getting closer. That was almost cleaner, but then it ended up running wide at the very top of the hill. And let's give it a go this time then. Completely flat once again. Oh, that one was just about, just about flat and clean. One final try and then. Attempt number seven. This one here, much more simple. As you can see, we managed it. We mastered it. Seven times it took us, but we did it in the end, mastered it. Nice and clean. No real oversteer. And that one was 363 kilometers an hour up through Eau Rouge. So F modern F1 cars can go 360 kilometers an hour through the famous Eau Rouge corner, completely flat out. So now then, we're getting up to 2.5 times power. We've added even more power and now we are really going to struggle, I think. And there we go. And interestingly, yeah, that was the first time that we've seen understeer, which is what is now going to stop us being able to go much faster. I think now we've probably reached the power limit. So we're going to have to try quite a few times to see if we can get through this flat with 2.5 times power. Because look, the first part of the corner understeers a little bit. Then you get oversteer half through the corner. Previously, we weren't getting that understeer for the first part. So it was still quite comfortably flat, really. Um, we just needed to control the oversteer. Just get the right line and control the oversteer. And we knew we could get through it. However, now we're getting oversteer. Oh, sorry, understeer, I should say. And that's because we're entering the corner. You see the bottom right there? Almost 400 kilometers an hour. We made it through there, but still not exactly a clean corner. So we'll go again. Nearly 400 kilometers an hour coming to the corner. Once again, so close there. You can see me desperately trying to keep it within the, within the bounds of the racetrack, which is why we've ended up with a huge amount of oversteer on the exit. Once again, getting a bit of a better line that time, but having to lift that time. Just trying to get it through now the best we can, because I think we've sort of established that this probably can't be fat. Very, very close there. And once again, big old lift there, and that is definitely a clean one, but that was not fast because we took a big lift. That is much better through there. Much, much better that time. That is attempt 10, but we're going to try and do it flat. We're going to keep it going. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this is the point where I started going a bit mad. I, uh, I just kept going. I was like, I, I want to do this flat. 2.5 times power. We've got a hell of a lot of power, but I want that flat. And then you can see that was a pretty clean one there. Still not flat. We're having to take a little lift just on the entry because just to get the nose in. When we're flat, it's just causing a bit too much uh, understeer. It's just causing the car to not be able to rotate through the corner. So we're having to take a little lift just as we get to the apex, just before the apex, in order to get through the corner. And then we're going to try and get on the power. But obviously, with 2.5 times power, 
it's very, very tricky to get back on the power. You can't just stamp on the throttle. If the car's even a little bit unstable, you're going to go round. Even with the downforce that 380 kilometers an hour or, or so, uh, even with the downforce that that speed gives you, you can still have a big old understeer moment or oversteer moment, I should say. So here we go. They're starting to get the hang of it now. They're on to attempt number 24. And we are getting through it cleanly and cleanly now. We're just build, trying to build up the speed, see if we can do it flat. But a bit of curb there, that's always going to send us round at this speed. Far too fast to be on some, some curbs. Once again, they're not learning our mistake. Second time round, on to attempt number 26. Attempt number 27. But see, you see that understeer there? The car just pushes wide. And of course, we can't open the diff because that will cause even more oversteer on the exit. We're really trying to rest this car through. And once again, not able to get it through there. On to attempt 30. And here we go then, attempt 31. This is our final and best attempt. And this is the best we can do. You see quite a big lift there on the entry. And we managed to get it through the corner just about. And that was with a minimum corner speed of 369 kilometers an hour. So very slightly more than our previous best on two times power. At the end of the straight there, maxing out a VMAX of 421 kilometers an hour with 2.5 times combustion engine power. But we're now going to treat ourselves to a lap of spa with this power setting. So we're going to complete this lap. Just to kind of round out this video, really, you saw there struggling to get it slowed down. I think that's going to be a, a theme of this lap. I've sort of got the hang of the power because every single one of those attempts, I had to do turn one. Uh, I had to do last source, so um, I'm, I'm quite used to getting quite gingerly on the power with this with this uh, with this amount of with this amount of power. And as you can see there, though, not quite managing it. Unfortunately, through poo on, uh, having a huge amount of oversteer at a corner that's normally very comfortably flat. So that one actually isn't flat. Um, it seems with this level of power, just because you just get too much wheel spin, it's just too much torque going through the wheels. And of course, you know, the, these engines have got stupid amounts of power. Quite cautious there. Through that one, that's normally, you know, comfortably flat in this game at least. Um, here we go then, building up the corners. Is Blanchemont going to be flat? That is the big question. Now, 404 kilometers an hour on the entry to that one. And sure enough, round it goes. There's just too much power. And these tyres are just screaming. They're saying, what are you doing to me? 400 kilometers an hour and you want me to turn a corner at that speed and still have grip. Managed to get it through there, but we did lift that time. And we have actually run out of fuel there, interestingly. That's because, of course, we're consuming much more power because we're basically just forcing a little more fuel into the engine in order to get this 2.5 times power. And uh, here we go. Then can we do it flat this time? No, still a tiny lift, but much cleaner. No, nope, not cleaner. Not cleaner. Still managed to lose on the exit. Pretty close that one, though. So let's give it one more attempt and see if we can get through flat. Food launcher one at 400 kilometers an hour. Let's do it. Just over 400 now. Are we flat? No, still a very minor lift, but managed to get it through. And that was seriously quick because we ran out of fuel on the exit there. We're going to just blub, as I used to say, blub to the line. So the game kind of gives you a bit of a phantom fuel, I suppose, when you run out for you in order to be able to get around to the pits. But we're just going to blub to the line here. Still come around a P2 because no one else had the upgraded engine power. And there it is then, guys. That is how fast you have you can go through Eau Rouge with the modern F1 cars. 363 kilometers an hour through Eau Rouge. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.